Hi and welcome to this course. I hope that you are enjoying this course. Please subscribe our channel. Let's start today. We will talk about network disaggregation. As we learned earlier, a network device consists of multiple components that are tightly integrated with each other. Packet, processors, CPU, RAM, and flash are all part of the same device. You may remember that a long time ago, when we bought a computer from a brand such as IBM, it came with an IBM hardware and an IBM operating system such as IBM DOS or OS2, etc. Once Microsoft started selling operating systems separately, the market was disrupted and changed. Our current network industry is very similar to those old days, as we are still dealing with a combination of a locked-down system of hardware and software. In the server and compute world, we can go and buy a server with Intel or AMD CPU, memory and disks. We are flexible to choose the operating system we want to run on that server. We can choose different flavors of Linux or even Microsoft Windows, based on our application requirements. You may wonder how we can install a Windows or Linux system on the same hardware, or how a Linux OS can run and provide the same functionality on an Intel Xeon processor and on different CPUs, such as ARM. The answer is in the standard hardware abstraction layer which exists in these servers. The BIOS, Basic Input-Output System. BIOS is the key piece that allows basic communication between the operating system and the underlying hardware. BIOS helps the server or computer to boot and run an OS kernel. Once the kernel is booted and ran, it starts communicating with hardware via different methods. Along with the evolution of SDN and open networking, we started seeing bare metal switches with open source hardware. Those switches were equipped with a standard BIOS-like system called ONI, Open Network Install Environment. ONI is similar to BIOS in computers, and allows an operating system to get installed on a switch or router and take control of the switch packet processing by disaggregating the hardware and software in network devices, we can install any network operating system in supported bare metal switches, network operating systems, NOS, such as PICA 8, Cumulus or ONL, Open Network Linux, or Open Switch. This did not only enable us to disaggregate the hardware from software in networking switches and routers, but also helped the industry to create centralized software that can control the networks. SDN controllers are an example of such software that manages the forwarding tables of networking devices in a network. Disaggregation is a key concept for open networking. It allows the industry to create standard software products to drive the network. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.